Hi guys, so today is an extremely exciting day because despite not having this car for very long and we really haven't done too many videos with it, we literally just passed 200 miles with the car driving here. Um, I've decided I want to wrap it because I haven't really done a wrap. I did it on my first Lotus but I never did it on my second and I've just been toying with ideas of different colors and things to do on this car and I just really, really want to wrap my car. So now that I'm living in London, I decided that I am going to bring the car to Double Customs, which is exactly where we are right now. We've got some very cool cars lying around as per usual. Um, but the only catch is we have no clue what color we're going. I have not decided, I haven't looked at any samples. So we've got the car parked up here now, but we're gonna go up to a computer up there, do a bit of Googling, try and find a theme that we can go with because obviously the original Alpine A110 was a really successful rally car. So we're thinking of maybe doing something to do with the old rally history. Um, but I don't really know. So we're gonna try and come up with three ideas and then we're gonna put it to you guys to vote. So if you wanna see what the three ideas are, wait until the end of the video and then you can help us decide what color this Alpine A110 Premier Edition is gonna be. Okay, we've hijacked the Dub Customs computer now, and we are gonna look at some classic liveries they used to have on the old rally cars. So let's see what we've got. Okay, look, this seems to be quite a popular one which they had. This was back from, Mont you know, the Monaco rally days. It's quite cool, sort of baby blue. So that feels a bit too similar. That's cool. That is very cool. That is very nice. So the yellow lights, I'm loving the idea of yellow lights, actually. Yellow, like that? Hmm. We did discuss yellow. We did but discuss yellow. I'm not a huge fan. We, oh. Wow, well, that does look good. That looks amazing. I don't really want white because the car's only available, the premium edition, white, black, and blue. So if I'm wrapping it, I kind of want to do yeah. something different. Not one of the colors you can get normally. Um, um, well, see, this, this I think would be really cool. That? Yeah, but out like- of, Out of all of them, you've picked that one. <laughs> No, I like that yellow-orange thing. No, well, for, yeah, okay, I see the color, yeah. Um, well, cheers. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Nice. That is kind of cool. Yellow accents with blue. That is kind of cool. Yeah, you like that? Oh, wow. Oh, look, we've got a shipment here. 3M. Okay. Oh, wow. This is very cool. And in a whole load of 3M Whoa. and Avery. Like okay, wow. We are bowling now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I know we wanted to leave this up to, to the viewers to choose, but I honestly, I have no idea. Have the whole car in grey with the yellow accents. Well, okay, three options, and I honestly do not know. We've just thought about it, and the last option we've come up with is uh, keeping the blue. I know it maybe sounds a bit boring, but also one of the reasons I want to do the wrap is to protect the paint, because it's the original paint, but just doing like a matte PPF on it. So it completely changes, and I've then got a matte blue Alpine Premier Edition, probably the only one in the world, but it's still got something protecting the paint. Second option is going full yellow. Now I'm surprised I'm saying this because I'm usually not a fan of yellow cars, but full yellow could look quite cool and arc back to some of the old race cars. And so we're thinking that, potentially doing one of these, here it is, one of these yellows. I don't know if I would want it in chrome, sorry, in gloss or in matte, um, but doing the whole car in that color which I think would be kind of fun having one of the only premier editions in a different color to the blue, white, or black. Or last option is, let me get it out for you guys, Nardo Gray, full body in Nardo Gray, but then with fluorescent yellow accents, mm -hmm. like on the back of the diffuser or something like that. So having this as a base color, I don't know if you can see that, and then accents in that color right there. So, you know, we could do the logos in yellow or things like that. Um, and yeah, I think we're just gonna 
wait to hear what you guys say, kind of. And then we want you to vote, so I think. Is, is that the right corner? That's the right, yeah, I'm getting a nod. That corner right there, there's gonna be a poll normally. So you'll be able to vote between Nardo Gray, Yellow Accents, Yellow or Matte Blue. Um, you vote there, we're then gonna see what comes from after that, but then please comment down below if you want black lights around front, yellow tinted rally lights, um, dark tints, light tints, black logos, all these different details, those you can comment down below. But the main thing is the poll up in that corner. Dub, as always, have been sort of really, really nice and they're coming up with some fun ideas and I know that they're probably gonna add a few little surprises. Um, so you never quite know exactly what your car's gonna be like when you come here, unless you ask them to really do it the way you want it. But I love that. So it means, you know, there's always a little surprise element as well. This car's gonna be here for a little while now, so it's time to say goodbye. I did just to kiss my car. That <laughs> happened. Yeah. It was also filthy. <laughs> Very dirty. So yeah. Mm. Anyways. What now? <laughs> <laughs>